This is the video for Lesson 98 on my website, Similar versus Congruent. Very often in geometry, we deal with figures that are exactly the same. We call such figures congruent, or some people say congruent. Either pronunciation is fine. What I'm going to do now is draw a blue oval, like that, and then I'm going to copy it. I'm going to make an exact copy by doing copy and paste. And here's the copy. We can say that these two figures are congruent. They're the exact same size and the exact same shape. Now what's important to understand is that even if we rotate one of the figures to any extent, the shapes are still congruent. It's still the exact same size and the exact same shape. One just happens to be rotated. Now in math we also have a concept of similar. In everyday life, we use the word similar in different ways, and the word similar might mean different things to different people. It's kind of vague. In math, though, it has a special definition. What I'm going to do is make a small square, and then I'm going to make a larger square. We can say that these two shapes are similar. They're the exact same shape, but they're different sizes. And in math, we call that similar. And again, rotating doesn't matter. So even if I rotate this square, the shapes are still considered similar. They're both squares, they're the exact same shape, but they're different sizes. This is just a very basic lesson. Make sure that you understand these definitions as they apply in math. Make sure that you just memorize this concept. Later on we'll learn how to do actual mathematical co calculations using congruent and similar figures.